Hey, it looks like I'm live. I haven't done this in a month. I re wonder if you even remember how to stream. So. Oh, no, my dashboard's not, uh, let's refresh that. Is it working? It's working. Alright, it's been a while, and I mentioned I was planning on doing this. It's been, I think, over a month. Close to a month and a half since I played a U4. Since the uh, the Christmas Crusades series. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Big Blue Bob Blob is something I've been wanting to do lately. And frankly, I don't have... Let's just name this BBB. I don't have a, a real, like, plan going into this. I've never watched a Big Blue Blob Let's Play. I have never... Well, the last time I played France was getting the all of Fran the French Corps achievements, and that's trivial. Um... And also several years ago. But here we are. We are France. We've got that whole... I think the Coptic mission one shows up. I guess that's because it's possible. Um, yeah, Big Blue Blob. I need... What does it say out of 103? As France held 100 European provinces before 1500. Which is all well and good, but this has 24 out of 103. And that makes me question the val validity of these. This has 2 out of 13. Huh. Well, I need 100 provinces. I'm France. I have... This doesn't seem right. How many provinces do I have? Where do I see that? 21. Okay. I, uh, I thought I started with more for some reason. This is how little planning I put into this. See, militarily, what do I have? A couple of heavies. I, I am expecting a restart on this, by the way. At least one run to figure out how the, what the hell I'm doing and another run to actually do it. It's more fun to go in blind. Since it's, it's kind of a, a shorter goal, um, it won't be too painful if I fail. As far as rivals go, Spain is probably a potential ally, actually. Absolutely a potential ally. Um, I have... Also, it's been a month and a half since I've played this, so I'm going to stumble a little bit on what I'm doing. As far as potential allies go. There's probably not a lot. Hungary. Hungary would be good because they'll probably ally Austria. I think they have that whole historical friend. Yeah, plus 25. So Hungary wouldn't be bad. But more importantly than that, what is my first direction of expansion? God, France is rich. Let's see. I know I've got cores on England. So getting these would make me much more powerful. I th think I definitely should go for that at some point. Do I have cores on... Uh... Wait, I'm allied with Provence? from the get-go. Oh, huh, okay. That's fine. Um, I also would kind of like to vassalize Navarra, because that's just a free province. And I can integrate them in ten years. Never noticed that they call it Nefara. In fact, I can probably do that with a couple of countries. 
Oh, apparently not Genoa. Oh, that's Genoa. Right. Right, right, right. Um, Burgundy, of course, I think they're too large to annex. And of course, it would be way too much aggressive expansion. So the question comes, which direction do I expand, aside from into England? Now, as part of my war on England, I could probably take Pal here, which would get me access to the north, and I could go on a rampage in uh, Ireland. Ireland's relatively low development, and work my way north into Norway. Now, as I am France, aside from the Ottomans, I'm just about as strong as you get. I think Austria probably has more troops than me to start with here. If I remember right. Let's see, uh, just do force limit. Yeah, Austria is bigger than me. They're, they're scary. So I'm going to try not to come to a head with the uh, my natural rival with which allying Hungary would do me a lot. Probably want to start making claims immediately too, but then I wouldn't be able to improve relations with Navarra right off the bat. Improving relations with someone who doesn't like you is more effective than otherwise, so I'm going to improve relations first before allying them. Um, <clears throat> that means I have a bigger army than England, doesn't it? By a very small margin. I do have a starting stock of cash. And I feel like mercenaries are a decent investment since I'm going to be throwing my troops around Europe. Um, quite a bit. So starting off with some mercs would not hurt. do six of those and I'll fill up the rest with regulars. Luckily I'm France so I have manpower. And I think England, I, th I think I just gotta hit England. So I could, I have cores on all these so they'll start with zero uh, autonomy when I get them back. And plus I can use them to go north. I pretty much decided I'm going north apparently. I believe... I believe Iceland counts as Europe. Yes. So all this crappy Norwegian land, that is a province that I want to take because it'll be cheap decor and it counts just as much as taking Wien. For that matter, Everything up here, like the whole Finnish uh, Karelian area. What do, you think, what do they call it here? Yeah, Karelia, Pomeray. All of that's going to be really good for me. Plus, assuming I get this first go, I'm going to want to keep playing. Right, is that my whole navy? Could probably have more navy. By a very small amount. How, uh... How big is the English navy? Wow! There's a lot of people that have a much better naval capacity than I do. Including the damn Romans. How's that work? Oh, because the English have my coast. Oh. Oh, I need to rival England because I believe you get less aggressive expansion for taking their land. Maybe not. But the land will be cheaper to take in a deal. More likely to get alliances with their enemies. 
I kind of thought that was a natural progression from, uh, just ha- well, no, I guess I didn't know that. Just never put it into words. No trade efficiency penalty when embargoing. Yeah, England, you are my rival for sure. Austria, I'm, uh, I don't know. Uh, well, Burgundy rivaled me too. Okay, and England and Burgundy are rivals, so there's no risk of them becoming allies against me. There is a risk of them taking advantage of my uh, my advances into the other. But you know what? That doesn't hurt. I don't, however, want them to become friends. Ah, they're enemies with Austria as well. Which means making a circle of... Let me get Aragon. Aragon... Aragon is a decent target and Castile will likely help me. So I think I want to write, well, as long as I act quickly, they won't help the English. That is Austria, not Aragon. Okay. Royal marriage with Provence, reclaim Maine. This gives me manpower and prestige. Manpower I need. That is a great mission for me. Uh, okay. I have a free diplomat. I'm going to declare war on England very soon. I th when is the first day? The 11th. So I have some time. I'll definitely have uh, diplomats back. So let's start fabricating on Aragon, who will be my next target. Okay, now aggressive expansion is a big risk for me right now, so i got to be a little careful. I also want to have, if I can, I want to be able to fight off the English Navy. That's not happening. Alright, guess that doesn't matter. In fact, I may just mothball my fleet. I'm gonna bring them down south so the English can't easily snipe them. Also going to go ahead and risk turning off this fort. And well the English have no troops here right now so I can turn these off and they'll turn on on their own when the war starts. But I'm gonna be tight on money too so I'm gonna just leave my forts off to start with. Now, while Sicily's rich, Naples is less so, especially in the south. So attacking Aragon, I'm probably going to want to go there. And there's a good reason for that. If an opportunity comes up to eat up any Muslim land in Europe, I want to do it. Because it's going to give me less aggressive expansion with all the Catholics I'm about to piss off. Okay. If I'm insanely lucky, I'll get a personal union over Castile because uh, Juan here will die. Because they naturally disinherit Enrique pretty much from the get-go in this patch. Don't you make a liar out of me. We'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, Provence wants access through me. Why? I don't care. Go away. Uh, I can get advisors, and I think a military advisor would, especially a morale advisor this early in the game, would do really well for me. For a duck at a month, it's a steal. Um, additionally, focus. Uh, Charles de Valois. Ooh, he gives me morale too. And I'll have another personality trait soon. His heir, his heir's not so good in the military department, but he's got some administrative, and he's average at least. Do I focus admin, or do I focus military first? Or do I just not focus 
If I could take some out of diplomacy and put it into the other two, I would definitely do that, but that's the opposite of what I can do. So let's think about this. I'm not going to need the admin immediately. I'll be able to change it in how long? 20 years or something? don't remember. I do know... I definitely need that next mill tech. I'm gonna focus military. And I'll switch it if I need to. Uh, I feel like this is gonna be a bad idea. I feel like focusing admin is actually smarter. I'm gonna do it. We'll see how it goes. Did this not go down? Oh, was I focused in diplomacy by default? Oh, well, damn, no brainer. Who needs diplomacy? Not this guy. Um, allying Denmark's a bad idea. Idea. Plus, they don't want it. Boy, do they not like me. Oh, they rivaled me. Oh. Well, I know who my next rival's gonna be. Um, yes. Split up my mercs. I'm sure to piss off anybody who watches this by, uh... By going too slowly, but I haven't done this in a while, so I'm not gonna take any risks. I can also declare that war. If I bring Castile in, I can give them Portuguese land, that's fine. Did they fire Enrique? They did. So if they die, I win. And he's 39. He's probably got a chance to die relatively soon. Apparently it's succession war between Aragon and England. And I'm not sure why. Probably because my prestige isn't high enough? Well, let's fix that. I need a general. Do I have one by default? I do. Cannoneer. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's put you on that job. And let's get it on. I bring Castile and promise them Portuguese land. It'll also make the war take longer, which is not ideal. Do I really have to worry about the Portuguese army? It's not like the England, English are going to be able to land easily. I feel like I'm going to miss it. What's your flag look like? I have 13,000. I could easily take them out. And Leinster... Frankly, not a problem either. Now nah, I'll use Castile as a uh, as a buffer against potential problems. Did 
Do I have ally slots? I do. I'll take Navara as an ally right away. That makes me have to wait six days. Alright. Navarra won't help. They didn't just ally England or something, did they? No. Let's take back my land. Look at a reconquest of Normandy because that's where the uh, fort is. It'll be harder for them to take back. Portuguese savages has have come oh wow Aragon's been excommunicated oh yeah I'm going for them next excommunication CB it's pretty good isn't it I'm gonna go ahead and mothball my fleet because I don't feel like they're gonna do me much good against all of this and I'm already in the in the red for money Oh, you know why? You know why I'm not on the list for uh, getting a PU? It's because I don't have a royal marriage. Obviously. That's what I get for not playing for a while. Hey, Cypher. One of the three provinces away is pretty close. So, as long as you don't get too frustrated, I guess. Loan offer from Morocco. Thanks, Morocco, but definitely not. Goodbye. All right, that's a problem. I might have to focus one fort at a time just because I don't have the men for this. Now, if they die, he dies right now, who becomes uh, England and France succession war? Yeah, I really don't want to fight you. This is Woods. They will have a bonus. Promise them land. England, you. All right. You know what? We're gonna. We're gonna make sure we win this. Never freaking mind. They are useless. Where'd the Portuguese go anyway? I'm a little concerned that they kind of vanished on me. Aragon's already not excommunicated anymore? Where'd that English stack go? Did I cr did I... Is it oh, maybe it went to clay. Unless I uh, stack wiped it, in which case, yay! Oh, they're not even uh, bothering to attack me. That's a good sign. You got Sunset... Sunset... Uh, yeah. Sunset Invasion? Dude, congrats, man. That one's an investment. 
in colonial income. Okay, he's coming off the boat again. I think I'm just gonna keep sieging here since I'm so damn good at it. And I'll handle him. Although I don't want him to gather too many men on the shore. I need Normandy. I feel like my computer's chugging a little more than normal. Maybe I ought to have restarted before this. I could shut down a few things. Having none of that. I'm not taking any shit from those, uh, those damn bourgeoisie. God, the French disgust me. Look at this. Now they're gonna run the clay, so I might be able to stack wipe them. reason no all right Let's handle the Portuguese to cash from Rome rather than land was that, uh... Why do you have attrition? Supply limit that bad here? Wow. A gift! Thanks, Castile. You are a pal. A pale shadow in my presence. When there's a battle, when there is a battle on a fort being desieged, who gets defender? The uh, person who controls the fort currently. So I will be defender when I attack Normandy because I control the fort. And boy, does he know it. He's out of there. Can I get a battle here? Probably not. All right. I don't know where England's going. K is a little exposed here. It's probably not the best. But it doesn't matter because I just got the fort. I 
The English may have the seas, but I have the mainland. The Portuguese gonna go for uh, Languedoc again? Or not Languedoc. Nalbonne? Observe as I butcher the French language. Can be dealt with. In theory, I want this war to be over as fast as humanly possible so I can move on to the next one, but I definitely need enough war score to take what I want. And what I want is all of my cores. Uh, wow, 63? Really? Like, no aggressive expansion, but still. And I like the pale. I used to take my troops over to Scotland so I could take more from England. Yeah. It's doable. Mm, I will need a lot of ticking war score from this, I think. Which is a time sink. Let's do this. I don't need to deal with these Portuguese right now. In fact, I think it's better if I deal with those English. 100 provinces before 1500, that is correct. I'm already on a good, uh... Try to take all the land I can from Portugal. Well, Portuguese land is very rich. While I could do that... Well, I guess there's some cheaper stuff here. Yeah, maybe I should go to Portugal. That's not a bad idea. Since, especially since half of Iberia is my ally. Who gets there first? 22nd. Twentieth, so I can get here and he'll have a uh, sea crossing, and then I can ditch my men here and come in to help, just in case those numbers become overwhelming. He's got nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Alright, I do want that general back on, uh... On siege duty. I'm not used to having uh, 370 manpower a month from the start of a campaign. Land where I can claim Granada. Ooh, that's a good idea. But the Spanish have cores. Do the Spanish have cores? No, they just have claims. I'm afraid that would cause a rift between me and my friend here. Which, you know, maybe I don't care. Ah, good, they know what's best for them. English, however, are gonna keep coming. That'll need defensing. That's right, defensing. Uh, Aragon, I should be claiming on you. What can I claim? I suppose the fort would be a good idea. But cheap land is even better. I wouldn't claim? 
I do claim. You also used to cast to Constantinople before your auto scum. Yeah. If if I can do it, I will maybe try to vassalize Byzantium, but my current plan is to head north. And I'm going to do that by going through the Scots and into Norway. If I get myself up here, which is why I want this land, if I get myself up through the north, I can uh, start moving into Norway. That's really cheap land. I can take a lot of it, and it's far away from a lot of people, so less <clears throat> aggressive expansion. South is good with Naples, yes. When I declare war against these wretched, uh, oh, no, that's not good. Granted, I have so much more morale than them. When I declare war against the hated, oh, they're going to die. Uh, Aragonese, then I will be snatching up a chunk of Naples. So that will give me the east options. It's easy and fast to go. Well, why, why not do both, you know? I am very appreciative, England, that you keep sacrificing troops for me to get my faster war score. 27 from battles, there's still room for more. What's the cap, 40? Bring me another! Oh, I am out of money. I am definitely out of money. Minus 18. Well, if you failed, maybe I should listen to you. Because you know what does work and what doesn't work. Shift consolidate, so I'm spending less of the time. I'm gonna go ahead and accept the loan. I just brought my income up by 10. This land will pay itself off quickly. Plus, my loans are enormous. Where did that army go? They're redirecting. I'm much closer to getting what I want now. Um, not taking Calais is maybe a questionable choice. But going for 100% is going to be tedious. So think some of your problem is having to go back and forth between north and south? Hmm, maybe. Could well be. Now at this point... Can't quite take all my cores either. Very close though. How big is the English army? Force limit was fairly high, I think. My eyes are impatient today. Oh, it's the same as mine. But they've got almost no men. It's just I can't cross the sea. But if they've got almost no men, that means I can dedicate some to Portugal.
and the gift from Morocco, and the miracle of life. Sweet. I lost some war exhaustion, which is now down to a measly one. What am I doing? I don't even need to like protect Calais much. Are the English even going to cross at this point? I'm not even sure. So I can probably afford to just bring my entire force south. Um, and maybe just not dedicate fully. But there's no reason for me to half-ass this fight. Oh, there's the English. Yeah, I want to bring everybody down here, I guess. The Portuguese are going to step off and leave the English extra exposed. You still have to deal with the taking forts on the, for the rest of England's land. I'm not taking all of England. I don't need to take their land. Not necessarily, especially if I want to take Portugal. I think it's a choice between going to England and just sieging the crap out of England. Well, we only have two forts. That would be pretty easy, wouldn't it? But I'd have to cross the sea, and they own the oceans. There is... Yeah, there's no way I'm getting across that sea. I'd rather take uh, Portuguese land. Where do you think you're going? And after this war ends, I'll be able to vassalize Navarra. Well, since the entire English army seems to be over here, I guess I don't need to wait on them. Do they only have one fort? They do! Oh, this will be easy. When you say that province's name. Oh, I have it muted. Hold on. Usually I don't like to look at, or uh, listen to videos people suggest to me when I'm doing this, but I do like pronouncing things correctly. Okay, I'm not listening to a damn song. Thank you. That is not happening. They removed the English fort from Ireland. It does appear that way. I'm temporarily outnumbered and... Crunch. Yeah, no, it's just too much noise, and I'm going to get muted. Which means the VOD will end up with a big hole in it. And I at least want the option to throw this onto YouTube for the one person that'll ever see, ever see it. Alright, let's just merge up and crush these guys. See him trying to escape? There's no escape. There's no escape. Come on now. What's for? Need uh, a couple more splits here. Just enough men to do them in. I 
become righteous and get free legitimacy. Time to dump legitimacy with every decision. Let's just make sure that I win all these little battles. Shouldn't be a problem. Just gotta watch for the English up north again. I've got enough war score, I could probably get whatever thing I want. Mm hmm. Mm hmm, mm hmm. But the price went up. I just. Uh, now I want a piece of Portugal. I need it. I want it. I'll have it. How much war score do I need? I think it was 76 for the lot of it, but I've got 40 from battles now. And they have no armies. Portugal's about to be completely sieged. I'll leave just enough to siege Lisboa. I can't imagine England is going to put a lot of effort into uh, saving that. So I'll send everything I need to siege Lisboa and one extra guy, and the rest can come home to fight the English. Separate piece? I could do a separate piece. Provence was excommunicated. Which, you know, kind of sucks for me, actually. Ah, huh, Portuguese. How long do I have for England? Oh, they're not going to siege that anytime soon. Let's turn that around and deal with them. They're probably. Oh, they've got these little pockets of land out here. Uh, I need pretty much all my men to go handle the English, especially since uh, I'm out of manpower. Ports have boats and other islands that are a part of Europe. Yes. Oh, the islands! Right, Portuguese islands. That would be a good thing to grab. Nobody's going to care about those. Alright, you know what? Let's kill this stack. Plus this will give everybody the general bonus for movement. Especially when the general is actually on one of them. Or he is on one of them. There you are. Okay, I have a free diplomat, and in a game that's about doing things fast, that's probably not ideal. Now, am I guaranteeing you? No, I'm not. Goodbye. Instead, frankly, I'd much rather be spying on you. I can get one more claim on Aragon shortly. Royal marriage from Brittany. Brittany, do you really think that I care? <laughs> hey, pineapple. Yeah, I haven't played for a little over a month. Can recall the Navarin diplomat that frees up another one. Whom else do I want claims on? I'm gonna have claim potential on all this area, so maybe a cheap Irishman? A lot of eight developments up there. I think I want this province. So 
Especially since I'm going to have a truce with the Scots for a while, right? Five years. Is there a plan for this run, or is number one just kind of wing it? It's just kind of wing it. I have vague ideas of how things can work. Cheap low AE, that is, that's the goal. Are you, are you going home now? Giving up on it? Giving up on your dream? I don't know, he's coming. Alright, I'll crush this little stack and then I'll head north to deal with the angles. Uh-uh. You're not leaving. Alright. Gotta get to England. Preferably when the armies are merged, so they get the speed bonus. And that cost. I cannot wait to get more land. Do I have a... My merchants are doing stuff, right? I do not have a lot of trade power in my own home node. Not that there's a lot of trade power in general. Ugh. Come on, man. War of the Roses for England. Hey, Castile and Morocco, you want to give me more gifts? Let's hope I can get to uh, Calais in time. I don't want to have to re-siege that because once the siege is done, I plan to end the war. Pretty much a coin flip. Ah, gross. They actually didn't get a lot of war score from that. And at the very least, annihilate his army. Really? Didn't crush it? Oh, they gotta take him around. Man, England, why you gotta be that way? Alright, I don't actually need Calais. I do kind of want Algarve, though. Wait, no I don't. I want those islands. Hope they don't have forts on them. Let's see if I can make a deal. Um... They might be out of range. What's this one called? Ah, my favorite island. Terra Incognita. Well, it's probably going to be cheap. I bet it's Evora. Well, I can take some of their mainland instead. I'll just siege up these two provinces and we'll call it a day.
Maybe as an extra kick in the face, I'll make England give up some land or something. If I have the spare war score. Although, Portuguese money might not be a bad idea to take, because I apparently am going to need it. So let's evaluate my options here. Why can I not... I can't core this? It's too far away to core? Are you kidding me? There to there. It's too far. Uh, uh. All right, well, um, how much of this war score is coming from Portuguese holdings? Then 20. It just says you need to take 100% to take non war leader land. What? Oh, is it just too expensive? I still can't get this. This is actually. No, I can't core this. I can take this. But it costs 45. I wanted the southern stuff because it was uh, cheap in development. So eight. Hundred percent I want my cores and I want this as a gateway to the north. Um yeah, if I knew I wasn't gonna be able to grab Portuguese land, I probably would have actually just sieged England. A lesson for round two if there is one. Hopefully it won't come to that. Instead... Instead... Why don't we get the English to dump a country or two? Calais? Yeah, they took the fort back. I would have loved to take Calais, but I, uh... I missed the boat on that one by about two days or something. Very, it was very close. Calais does give a lot of aggressive expansion, and it's not exactly preferable. Um, but if England dumps out a little country, I can steal it off of them and they're weaker in general. None of these are particularly great. Burgundy will hate me for it, yeah. They're already, they're already gonna hate me, I rivaled them. I think. I rivaled them, right? Yes, I did. I know what I did with stuff. So, okay. Okay, hold on. I could go for inheritance. That would boost me. But it's not me personally owning the land. It would make me strong, but it would waste war time that I could be spending elsewhere and give me aggressive expansion. So I don't think I want that. Oh, inheritance of the Burgundian land. I'm sorry, I was thinking claiming... Uh, the throne of England. Um, yeah, I could go for inheritance. Right now my plan is to just kind of hope. I can make them lose their core. That would be kind of nice, but I don't care. I'd like the Burgundian inheritance. Um... Honestly, I could be going for Emperor and try to get the ultimate Burgundian inheritance. That's... how many provinces would that be? Four... five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty? That would be actually huge if I could get the Imperial inheritance from Burgundy. But then I couldn't trigger it myself because I think the Emperor can't be at war with them at the time. There's some weird rule like that. I haven't had to actually consider this for quite a while. So maybe playing the Imperial game wouldn't be a terrible idea. At 
which would mean def simply befriending a lot of people. It is more of a gamble than a lot of other things, though. Alright, minimally, from England, I'm taking my land back in the pale. Um... Could make them dump a nation. They wouldn't do whales, but they probably... Oh, they won't even do Cornwall. No, I guess that's off the table. How much money do you have? That's kind of nice. Actually, yeah. Money is good. I think this is okay. Good luck fighting your rebels now. <laughs> oh, I might need to keep this here to uh, intimidate them. All right. Got my inspiring victory. I got a whole bunch of no. Oh no, it does have autonomy, even though I have cores on it. Well, some of it doesn't. Hold on. Why? Why does Bordeaux have no autonomy? Why do these have autonomy and the others don't? Those rebels just mean free troops. Uh. Oh, are they territories? But some of these had like uh, Alan Cohen has eighty four percent. They're not territories. They're full cores. If it's a territory. Anyway, there we go. Uh, this one still, this one still has a ton of autonomy. Oh well. Anyway, I got all my land back. Uh, I've got no manpower. I've got one loan. I could repay it. I am paying half a decade a month, so repaying it would save me. The corruption is negligible. The next loan I take is going to be worth a lot more, so I think repaying this immediately is not bad. I can core the pale. Excellent. Oh, Aragon. I can probably uh, make some claims on you, I suppose. I think the only two places I can put those claims are here. land. It's going to make me considerably stronger. Four years down.
That was my aggressive expansion look after that. Where did I hide aggressive expansion? Oh, coalition. Of course. It's pretty low, honestly. Even the uh, even the English don't care that much because I was taking back my own cores. So despite the fact that it was decent development, they don't mind so much. Navarra. There's a vast. Okay, Castile got them. I don't know if it was better or worse to uh, not get Navarra off the bat and let Castile get it, or what. Aragon allied Austria, that sucks. Would I have a chance of being Emperor? It's certainly possible. Greedy ass estates. Hey, how how would you like Maine? That was the clergy, right? Let's not give it to the wrong person. You want more than that? Okay, good. There, now I can get some more taxes out of this sucker. Low development northern land. I could start diplovassalizing the Irish. That is absolutely a possibility. Diplovassalize the Irish, war the Scottish. A lot of the Scottish land is A, far away from Europe, and B, piss poor. Well, they're certainly poorer, though. Antium's about to die. Aragonese Austrian alliances. Bit of a pain. And they have a female ruler, which means Castile could PU them, which would prevent me from taking their land. Twenty-eight provinces. Not even sure if it's worth solidifying paper relations. Then again, France tends to get a lot of cardinals. Which could give me taxes or something like that. Eventually. 
I am gaining them at slightly more than one per year. Have I seen the game of real politics? I have not. Why am I allied with Provence? What's it about? Mothball my forts? Ah, yes, thank you. Frankly, some of these I don't need at all anymore, like Poitou is probably relatively useless. This just doesn't like me because the burgers don't like me. And they'll eventually get over it. I could give them some prestige. Does that actually help me? Um, trade power? Remember, after this, I'll take a look, see, see what I can find. Uh, let's see, who should I attack? I could just go ham in the, uh, in the Irish Isles. It wouldn't be terribly difficult, especially because I can vassalize a bunch of them. And then in ten years I can integrate. Not terribly expensive provinces, so it wouldn't do too bad, I don't think. Especially if I were to vassalize England's ally here, that would be nice. And Scotland's ally, so they'll be... Potentially. Future problem. But if I'm going to do that, I might want to stop spying on uh, Ulster. I essentially want to collect them as a vassal before I started getting aggressive expansion up here. Ireland is fun to chain war. Yes, I've played a lot of CK too. It's the Viking paradise. Alright, I know I definitely want to spy on am I blind spy on the Scots and I'll stop spying on the Irish and start trying to uh, collect them under my banner and then I can start using their own claims to start eating up the Irish 
Just have a couple of Irish vassals and split Ireland between them and then dev uh, devour them both. If I keep them around the same development, it should make it pretty easy. So, let's improve relations with Leinster. That'll strip two of my enemies of their uh, land. Or their allies, rather. Um, Tyrone as well, actually. Strip Ireland, or Scotland of both of its allies at once right before I declare war. And get them for my own. Being friendly with the Pope can help reduce AE. Can it really? With the Pope or in general? Because solidifying paper relations happens to be my mission. Jake did it without. You know, I don't think I've seen Jake do this. Which is surprising, because I've seen almost all his content. Oh yeah, look at my monthly gain now. Pretty decent. So the first time I ever played a U4, I picked France because I wanted a nice, simple start to uh, to practice with. I then proceeded to lose wars repeatedly against various people around me, including Burgundy, who took a good chunk of the north. This is back when France was made up of a little bit of France and a whole bunch of vassals. The vassal states representing its decentralized government. So I was less personally powerful than I am in this game. But, Burgundy kicked the crap out of me, took a bunch of my land. Then the Burgundian inheritance happened, which I had no idea was coming, so it was, it was, a, it was pretty funny. It's like they took all my land and then I got it back. It's like, I don't deserve this. Alright, good, I get a lot more manpower now. Need a lot more men, though. That's okay. Should only take a little while. And I'm actually gaining money. For the moment, I'm also going to start needing uh, transports. Of which I have plenty here. Holy Wars are useful for manpower. Oh, Crusades? Yeah. go ahead and move my ships up to uh, Normandy. It's gonna cost me a, you know, 0.03 ducats a month. Is this song in CK2? I think it is. I've been playing that a lot lately. Alliance offer from Ulster. You know, if you were my uh, wooing target, 100% would do it. As it happens, you're not. Um, I do want my troops to recover, but I don't need them to recover that fast, because I don't have the manpower anyway, so... Just lower maintenance to just a little bit. Let me stock up some cash. End of the Hundred Years' War. Is that because I took my land back? Louis the uh, 
Eleventh, benefited from the outcome of the Hundred Years' War, the virtual destruction of the feudal nobility enabled him to unite France more solidly under the royal authority and to promote an and ally with the middle class. Damn straight. In the English Claim Co. Did they just lose their cores on this stuff? The hell? Didn't stab up before accepting? No, I didn't. That was would have been a nice idea, though. I'll reiterate, I'm going to be a little rusty. I haven't done this in a month and a half. And well, that doesn't seem like a terribly long time. It matters. Okay. Alright. Sweden spying on me. Good for them. So I'm just waiting for my uh, influence to get to 100 with these guys. Or 100 added. Plus it gives time for a little bit of AE to burn off. And for me to recover. Now the Scots are going to be considerably weaker than the English and hopefully just about every war I fight from here on will be that way. Hopefully Novgorod doesn't lose a whole lot of stuff. We got the Renaissance starting up. So if I'm to tech up, I might want to do it now so I don't have to think about it. I do have a lot of uh, admin stocked up, so I'm just going to do that. I think I want to make some transports as well. Because I have a feeling I'm going to need it. Alright, I can afford to speed up time. I have 97 power projection? Damn. Inflation for dip. I'll take it. Provence keeps ask asking for access so they can get to these uh, rebels. I'm not going to let him. Frankly, I don't know why I'm allied to them either. Iberian wedding. Okay, so. Wait, what? Oh, they didn't take it, which means Aragon's still on the table. Fantastic. I want to consider getting another ally though, like Hungary wouldn't be terrible. Um, Poland, Ottomans.
I believe that if you do the whole Hundred Years of War chain event, Provence enters on your side and you become allies. We were allies at the uh, start of the game. Should have unallied them. Well, my diplomat was free, but eh. Uh, excuse me? Hold on. Did I just... That is not what I meant to do, and I'm using this as my excuse to, uh, for the first time ever, go ahead and crash the game and see if I can get to the previous autosave. Let's hope I don't have to restart the stream and it picks up on this bird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't have an eagle on my des desktop background. Doesn't work as well as with Flory. He has an emote for it. <laughs> Ever since I got my job, I haven't had a lot of time to watch Flory. I know he's got a whole lot of crap on YouTube, but I just... I never really started watching him again. Watching him again, but somewhere two years ago, when I was at home all day and I had nothing to do except for apply to jobs. He kept me company quite a bit. Oh, God. It's not going to catch the video, is it? See if I can, uh... No? Can I refresh? Is there, like, an option for that? It's not gonna catch it. Oh, damn. Okay, I'm gonna drop the stream real quick and bring it back up. I'll load up the game at the same time. I just it's not catching the I think the uh, the launcher grabs it and then when that drops it doesn't redirect the what, what it's catching. I don't know. I'll be right back. <laughs> 